And a quick look at how the Grizzlies' schedule is shaping up. On Monday, they'll face off against DeAndre Jordan and the Brooklyn Nets. Then on Wednesday, they're off to Boston to take on the Celtics. And Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline in our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A. Hey, Kevin. John Morant put the league on notice his rookie season with spectacular play and a little jawing while he's at it. The Grizzlies rookie said, I just play with the same chip every game, adding it's nothing personal. I'm just having fun, he said. My teammates and the coaches allow me to go out there, play freely, and do what I do. Kevin? Thank you, David. Greg, what are they feeling here on opening day from the harsh ending to last season still very vivid in their minds? Kevin, they are motivated. You've had to think about that all summer long, and the chance for retribution starts here. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. Backcourt guards are young and reddish. Hunter is out there with Gallinari, and it's Collins in at the five spot. And for the Grizzlies, Morant now in at the guard spots. Anderson is out there with Jonas Valentino. Junis, and it's Brooks in at the three, the small forward. And it's going to be the Grizzlies off the tip. Allen outside. The feed now to Valen Junis. Back to Allen. The three. Offensive rebound. Nice effort taking the early lead. Here we go. Ah, take a nice deep breath. You score on that first possession gets the game started the right way. Young up top. Guarded by Morant. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Morant looking around. Allen outside. Now the pass to Valanciunas. A stupendous finish in traffic. At seven feet, Valanciunas' size comes in handy from there, especially when he's under heavy pressure. Young from outside hands it from downtown. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Morant kicks to Allen. Passes it to Valanciunas. Kicks it out to Allen. A three ball. Connects from three-point range. Nice delivery there. You can't hesitate when a man comes free on the perimeter. He got it and went right into the shot. Young passes to Hunter. Allen Ari outside. Pass to Young. Six to shoot. Back to Gallinari. Over Anderson. And it's Gallinari missing. Memphis has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Morant outside. Sinks the triple. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. And what an incredible shot in the arm for this franchise. The opportunity to draft a potential superstar in Ja Morant. And they had only a 6% chance of landing that number two overall pick. They've had a lot of good players come through Memphis over the years, GA, but probably no one with Moran's oh, upside. Right. He break. has future league two MVP shots. potential. Once the three-point shot is consistent, once he cuts back on the turnovers, I just don't know how you stop it. First one falls for him. Trey Young wants to be a leader, but it's not about wanting it. You have to show it on a consistent basis so your teammates start to look towards you. And so Young nails them both. And the second season for Trey Young, just unreal. Pulling off amazing performances at such a young age. Uh, Greg, just how good do you think he can be? You know, Kevin, Young will be viewed as a top point guard in this league for a long time. When it's all said and done, 
might be one of the best point guards in league history. Certainly is on his way to being one of the best shooters to ever play. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. It's a five-point game. Dishes it to Gallinari. And that one, good. Someone's open. Trey Young scanning and finds him. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Yep, it counts. Dude, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Young for three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. And here's Morant. Five points in the game. They get a hand on it. Now, here's Reddish. Alinari outside. In the corner, it's Hunter. Outside, Cowan. Gallinari inside the three-point line. Misses the J after tricking the D with the nifty pass there. Morant against Gallinari. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Boy, your alma mater, UNLV, Greg, has produced some great NBA players over the years. I mean, so many great names. No, no doubt about it. Listen, I, I got a special place in my heart for my former teammates Larry Johnson and Stacy Augman. Right. Uh, but also guys like Sean Marion. You go back to the Reggie Theus who was a tremendous player. And, and right now in the league you, you got Kim Birch, uh, dunk champ Derek Jones and an up and comer in, in Christian Wood. Good mentions. Both free throws, good from Morant. And the work ethic that Morant has sets him up nicely. Make no mistake, this guy wants to be an all-time great. Young from outside, unable to get that one. Now Memphis takes it the other way. Allen finds Allen Junis. Back to Allen. Memphis moving that ball around. Driving in. And the rejection by Collins. No, sir. Collins sending that one away. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. Some intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be there all night long. Here's Morant. Seven points in the game. Off the inbound, no good. Here's Hunter. Golinari with a screen for Hunter. Pass to Young. Over Morant. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. There's the dish to Valen Junis. Kicks it to Allen. Fires the three. And again, Memphis no good. Well, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls, anything they can do to get him started. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. Out to Morant. And he gets the whistle for the three-second call. And a moment now to look at the numbers for Valanciunas. Last season, he played outstanding. Sixth in rebounding. And he was such a reliable option offensively, finishing in the top ten in field goal percentage. He was a top ten rebounder last season for good reason. He's an incredibly intense guy to compete with. And, uh, and, and for a full game, too. I mean, just nonstop. Great to watch Trey Young set plays up on a nightly basis. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Allen for three. Traps in the tray. Allen's got a couple of threes now in the first for the Grizzlies. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking 
towards the three point line. And I like to see that especially when the results are made buckets. Morant right side over Hunter and that one hits back iron. Well maybe not the best shot against that kind of defense but he still has the ability to knock that kind of shot down. Alinari outside the pass to Young from deep three point range another three for Atlanta and really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts doing all he can to bring them back. So timeout called here the first for Memphis and what was once a weakness for Collins now a strength his defense has taken huge strides since the start of last season. And I think a, a young player like John Collins learns that blocks are not just a statistic that reveal how good you can be defensively. It's about positioning. It's about communication. And John Collins wants to be more complete on that end of the floor. The Anthony Melton. He's jacked in for Memphis. And then for Atlanta. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Hunter. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Reddish. Collins with it. No points in the game yet for him. And Bogdanovich kicks to Young. Golinari a screen on Brooks. Poked away. Bogdanovich inside. Brooks covering. And the Grizzlies leading by four. Alan Junis sets a screen for Morant. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Moran's got nine. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong quarter. Young drives in, and he drops in the layup off the glass. He's such a precise player. When Young notices those kind of openings, he definitely is looking to attack. Melton feeling it out a bit. Alan June is with the ball. He's picked up by Collins. Anderson can't get it to go. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. He dishes it to Morant. Pass to Valanciunas. Here's Melton. Clock at four. Bangs home the trifecta. That's a nice play. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. Yeah, defense has got to be a little bit better, especially when he's looking to fire from that distance. Gallinari inside the three-point line. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Gallinari's got his second basket of the night. Now Morant. Last time out he had 44 points. No hesitation at all on the alley-oop. Saw his teammate with a pat to the hoop and bang! Lobbed it right up there for him to finish. And he was ready for it when he elevated and made the catch. Now Lenari outside. Morant against Young. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. That is a tough, tough shot there. Trey Young, such a small player. He needs that floater in his arsenal. Right wing. Here's Melton. It's Anderson with the drive. Bucket is good. Anderson's got his second basket of the game. Anderson has those long strides anytime he's in the open court. A difficult player to guard when he's going to the rack. And he uses the glass on the layup. This is not a player who likes to be trailing in any game. That lights a fire. Morant outside. Over Young. Alan Junis trying to free himself up. And the Grizzlies tack on two more. Well, he doesn't look satisfied with the lead right now. He wants more. And he looks like he's going to get it. Young drives in, scores the bucket. He's 7 for 11 and continues to look good. 
You just can't take Trey Young lightly from anywhere on the floor. These kind of shots will help him get into a rhythm. Valanciunas with a screen on Young. Pass to Valanciunas. Back to Morant. Over Gallinari. And Kyle Anderson gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. For the Hawks, Bruno Fernando's checked in for John Collins. Solomon Hill comes in for Gallinari. And Goodwin subbed in for Trey Young. One twenty-seven left here in the opening quarter. Goodwin passes to Hill. Pass to Herter. Driving to the basket. And it's Melton with the rebound. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Seven left to play in the first quarter. Five to shoot. Bain. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Memphis. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. And maybe a signal as well of how aggressive their defense has been tonight is to look at how many points they have directly off of a turnover. Good activity there. And the first one at the line is good. He hits both from the strike. The Hawks trail by seven. There's the pass to Fernando. Down low. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. The Hawks shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. is no good and the Grizzlies leading by six passes it to Melton and that'll be two free throws coming up officials on the call with the foul the Grizzlies shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game and, and their free throw percentage as a unit last year 76 percent right around the middle of the road First free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. Goodwin feeling it out. 
He kicks it to Bogdanovich. Takes a three. And the rebound goes to the Grizzlies. Clark outside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Easy to appreciate the physicality that Clark plays with. This is what earns him those calls. The Grizzlies shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. He misses the free throw. The potential is there. For Clark, it's about expanding the range so that it makes him more versatile offensively. And he's good on the second. You just have to be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent. Here's Herder. And out of bounds is Memphis gains possession. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And the three-point shot has been big for him. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Guys, what's your take on the Grizzlies so far? Attacking, drawing fouls. They won that first quarter at the line. Yeah, they were going right at the opponent here and forcing their hand. I mean, like, literally making them foul them. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. On the court for Atlanta... And the wings, Reddish and Hunter. Then it's Goodwin, and there's Hill, and it's Fernando in at the five. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. And in front of you now is a list of the players with the highest shooting percentage last season. Fifth is Brandon Clark. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. And here is Goodwin, still looking for his first bucket in this one. And, and they continue to control the glass. To the paint, it's stolen by Reddish. Let's the free fly, drains it from beyond the arc. Reddish has got his first three points of the game. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. And Cam Reddish, the 10th pick back in 2019 out of Duke, had a tough transition as a rookie into the NBA, struggled just to find his rhythm. PA, I think there are a lot of questions because at Duke, he was surrounded by stars, R.J. Barrett, Zion Williamson, and he was sort of that third guy. He has all the physical tools, and he made some big-time strides in the latter half of last season, so he's coming. Rager, the all-time assist leader for the Big West Conference. In that frame, talk about some of the traits that make for a, for a good floor general, a good point guard, a good facilitator. Yeah, I mean, listen, you, you have to be a leader because that's what the position calls for. Uh, unselfishness, instincts, that stuff matters. But ultimately, your, play, your teammates got to feel like you played for them. Uh, and that's when you have a team, a chance as a team to, to be special. I'm assuming you've always been like that. Am I correct? No, that oh, is not really? true. Wow. I evolved into a leader. In all seriousness, wow. you know, you, I think it, some guys are natural. Others, like myself, had to evolve into it. Jonas Valanciunas, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Morant comes in for Jones. 
and a switch here also for Atlanta. Young's checked in. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jumps. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Over Hill. No good from Valanciunas. Well, mid-range is where he makes the money. So when the D's slow to get out on him, always surprising to see him miss from there. Hunter, the pass to Young. Now, here's Reddish. He had 15 points last out. In the corner, it's Hunter. Just three to shoot. Driving inside. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Morant against Young. Allen outside. They could use a bucket. Knocks down the three ball. Allen's got nine points. And that gets him going here in the second after hitting two from long range in that first. Pass to Fernando. To the middle. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. Yeah, you could tell Hunter knew he was open. Did not hesitate to find him. Pass to Valanciunas. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Way to attack there and then create the contact. The Grizzlies have been coming through at the charity strip. They've made seven of their eight attempts. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And a bruising, fundamentally sound big man. Valanciunas is a throwback. More importantly, he's willing to play whatever role is asked of him. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Brooks checked in. Colin Ari, he's checked in for Atlanta. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And so it's Gallinari with it. They'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Trailing by five. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. And Young kicks to Reddish. Offline with his three. And for Atlanta, they come in off a good outing against the Bulls in Chicago. Allen, that's good. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Drills it from outside. Gallinari's got seven points in the game. Well, the defense has to close out on Gallinari. He's shooting the three. That's where he's dangerous. Clark finds Valanciunas. Back to Clark. Allen for the three. Doesn't go for him. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Gallinari down low. He's against Clark. And it's Gallinari missing. Memphis leading by five. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Older. Hey, Kevin. Now, John Morant says in an era of five-star recruits, he was a no-star recruit coming out of high school. And that put that big chip on his shoulder. Now he has beneath no one tattooed on his arm. And he says, my dad always told me that I was trained to go. Basically, that I'm built for the moment. And guys, his time is now. Sure is, DA. Thank you. Young against Morant. To the inside, Valanciunas. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. Morant's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Radish dishes to Gallinari. Young with no one around. Another three for Atlanta. This is Trey Young's game right there. Rise and fire, and these shots are helping out the offense. Allen surveying the D. He feeds it to Valanciunas. 
It's good for his fourth bucket of the night. He's shooting four of eight. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. That is with the ball. Here's Fernando. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. The Grizzlies have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Morant outside. High arcing shot. Rebounded by the Hawks. Now Reddish. That gives them the lead. Reddish has got the lead up to one now for Atlanta. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Screened by Valanciunas. Rant. Oh, oh that was something else! Yeah, that's fire right there. Morant practicing for the dunk contest. I see you, young fellow. That is the pass to going up. Dishes to Young. The 11-footer misses off the right eye. Memphis has gone two of four from three-point range so far in the second quarter. Allen outside, and there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Looking at who's out there now for the Grizzlies. Kyle Anderson comes in for Brandon Clark. And it's DeAnthony Melton in for Grayson Allen. And a change for the Hawks. John Collins, he's checked in for Bruno Fernando. Here's Collins. And it's Morant with the rebound. Memphis leading. Got it. Good job in the low post. Morant's got 15. D has been just completely helpless and turned around. He's so dangerous when he's in this kind of rhythm. Here's Young. Nice contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Trey Young showing off his finishing ability on the inside. And you just can't get tired of watching the way Young shoots the ball. I mean, what a fantastic Find release. And it's just lane. limitless in Let's terms go. of the range. That's what makes it so impressive. He's a small guy. He's quick and he's got great handles. But he can heave that up from just about anywhere. And when he gets hot, it's something to watch. Greg, how special was it for you that you had your number 50 retired at UNLV? You know, that's something that I can honestly say. As a kid, you dream about a lot of things. Winning, you know, playing at the, the highest levels. Uh, that's something I never really fathomed is uh, to have your jersey hanging up in an arena. That was a surreal moment, a, a really cool moment, and it was awesome to be able to share it with my family and friends. And people probably uh, don't know that you grew up in Las Vegas, so it was probably doubly special, wasn't it? Exactly. Born and raised. Alan Junis, that's a screen for Morant. The pass to Alan Junis. Fades back. Bank shot, no good. And Kyle Anderson gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And so it's Gallinari with it. He'll bring it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Passes to Herter. Launches it. Rebounded by Alan Junis. Alan Junis has got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. It's Brooks on the wing. Back to Morant. Anderson is screen on Young. Just five to shoot. Morant dishes to Anderson. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Another shot. And yes, it's good. Anderson's got six points. Well, capable on the interior to score so long. Slow-mo. Anderson not going to pass up a look like that. Golinari a screen on Morant. Shots good from Young. Young's got it all tied up now for the Hawks. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities 
to stay with that confident play. Here's Valanciunas. Good, and a nice assist from Morant. He's got 12. Yeah, this is what you love about him, the confidence on that mid-range. That's a staple of his offensive attack, improving once again. He can do some damage from that area. Yeah, nice, silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Inside, here's Valanciunas. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got six rebounds now in the game. Young passes to Collins. The dish to Young. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot. And for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. Here's Melton. He has five. Here's Valanciunas. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. Golinari has screen on Morant, and Trey Young gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Gorky Dang's checked in for the Grizzlies. Jones comes in for Morant and a switch here also for Atlanta. Goodwin's checked in. 158 left in the first half. Jones the pass to Melton. Jang with the ball. He's guarded by Collins. Jang, no luck. The Hawks trail it. Pass to Herter. And here's Bogdanovich. Golinari a screen on Jang. Back to Herter. Just four to shoot. The Hawks need to get off a shot here. And the rejection by Jang. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Solomon Hill, he's checked in for Golinari. Memphis has gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark, shooting the three ball well. Jang, the pass to Melton. 107 left now here in the second. Back to Jang. That one, no good. And Atlanta will come the other way. And here is Goodwin. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Three-pointer. And Herter gets it to go. Herter's got the lead up to one now for the Hawks. Well, that's who Herter is outside on the perimeter. A confident long-range shooter. Jang with the ball. Now defended by Goodwin. And Jang gets it to go. That's nice vision there. You see that pass. You make the feed before the defense has a chance to react. And that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Hill looking around. Kicks to Bogdanovich. There we go. Now in the scoring column with that make, he is one for four. Now Bogdanovich focused on scoring on the inside, and when he gets close to the basket, it looked like he was hungry to get two. Here's Melton. Climbing the lane. And the rejection by Collins. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Jones, no one to beat the clock. Count it. He caught it. That's how you do it. Stay patient, wait for the opportunity, and boom. That's exactly how you want to close out the quarter, too, with some confidence. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Memphis out in front. They're up by one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. 
Kevin, thanks. With Trey Young, hey Trey, a slow start, but you guys bounced back. So what changed? Uh, I think it was just getting back into the rhythm, getting, to, uh, getting into the action, being aggressive. I think that was the main thing. Uh, we just got to go out and compete and do what we do. We'll see if you do what you do so well in the second half. Back to you. All right, David, thank you, and stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny, and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. It was all John ja Morant in the first quarter. He ended up with 15 points, five assists, and two rebounds. Kenny, what'd you think about the Grizzlies? They put on a rebounding clinic in the first half, boxing out, reacting quickly when those shots go up, and solid fundamentals that have them in good shape at the half. And over to the big fella, your thoughts on the Hawks. They ran their offense very well in the first half. There were almost no four shots. It was good, smart basketball. The motion in their offense was terrific. They made those defenders work very hard. I like what I saw from them for the most part. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been one outstanding game from Trey Young. And it's something that isn't his strength, but he's done a great job of finding the open man. Well, if we were grading playmaking today, it's an A-plus from him. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Morant now in at the guard spot. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Kyle Anderson. And it's Brooks in at the small forward. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Down low. Here's Valanciunas shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. That one on Collins. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And for, as for last season, he was a 74% shooter at the line. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And he can't hit the second. The Hawks leading. Now, here is Young. He's got 27. And he drives in. Nice D from Brooks. And so Morant will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. He'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. Pass to Valanciunas. Over Gallinari. And it's off the bat. Rim, no good. Atlanta shooting an outstanding 53% for the game. And the pass to Young. Gallinari, a screen on Morant. It's tipped. Out to Gallinari. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Memphis. It's Morant in the corner. No good on the three. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. 
And where Brooks seemed to have carved out a niche GA, his consistency from range and from the line. Kev, if you can space the floor and hit your free throws, you're going to be in the rotation. Brooks really came into his own last season. And the more he refines his shot selection, the more valuable he becomes to this team. Morant against Young. And they double up Morant. Anderson outside. Memphis moving that ball around. Nice shot by Brooks. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitors. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. Anderson against Gallinari. Here's Reddish. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Morant passes to Allen. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. All right, a chance here to check out the stats for Morant. He had a strong showing last season. Averaged 18 points per. Seven assists and four rebounds. And a quality player. I love what he brings to the table at that backup point guard position. I think coaches appreciate a guy that comes in and knows how to run oh, the offense take a break. Take with a break. some intelligence. Two That's stops. exactly what he does. That one drops. He ties it up. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Here's Young. Chalk up two there. Young's got 32 points. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. To the inside. And it's Valanciunas that time on the assist by Morant. And the Grizzlies lead by one. And have to commend the unselfish attitude. Like how Morant just recognized the open man and the ball is right there. Collins kicks to Gallinari. Young is double. Collins dishes to Gallinari. Lock at six. Takes it inside. And he makes that one. Gallinari's got nine. The D doing their best on this end, but not enough to stop Gallo there. Allen outside. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified when we're talking about a game down the stretch. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. Clark, he's checked in for the Grizzlies. Bruno Fernando is checked in for Atlanta. Young against Morant. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Hunter. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Just getting inside as a wing can help you out a lot. And Hunter right there forces the defense to foul. It's his first trip to the line. 76% from the line a season ago. Two, two. And he makes the first. And it's easy to see why so many people have been so high on DeAndre Hunter. You look at that build. And at that forward position and that kind of work ethic, the sky's the limit. And so he makes both from the line. The Grizzlies trail by three. 
It's Brooks on the wing to the middle. Here's Valanciunas. Out to Morant. And here's Brooks from outside. Ball's knocked loose. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Brooks. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. The fourth spot held by Trey Young. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. There's Gallinari with the three. Atlanta gets it back. Fernando, that's good. Fernando's got eight. Second chances are a great measure of what a team is doing in terms of their effort on a nightly basis, and that was some serious effort there. Allen outside. Passes it to Valanciunas. With the fadeaway. And that one, good. Valanciunas has got 21. And every team loves getting a night like this out of their big man. Valanciunas is the biggest lion in the Serengeti. From deep, Gallinari. Brooks grabs the board. Teammates right now covering up for the type of off performance he's having. In terms of scoring, this has not been his best night. Young up top. Guarded by Morant. And it's blocked. Well, this is where measurements don't tell the whole story. Clark is a tremendous shot blocker despite having an average wingspan. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. Morant against Young. He kicks it to Hunter. That's in coming off the assist from Young. Young's got his seventh assist in the game. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. It's a five-point game. Allen outside. Pass to Valanciunas. A shot off that time. So the Hawks will take it the other way. Young against Clark. Young drives in, and the wide-open shot from Reddish. Off target from three-point range. Here he goes. It's good. And the Hawks lead is cut down to just three in the basket from Morant. Gotta love watching Morant get after it. He goes all out. Tank never on empty. And here's Young from the arc. And out of bounds as Memphis gains possession. A moment here now to see the numbers for Trey Young. Great showing for him last season. Second in assists. And as one of the NBA's top five scorers, you also can't forget what an outstanding year he had offensively. And back to him finishing runner-up in assists, his court vision, his ability to control the pace of a game makes him especially impossible to defend. Out to Brooks for the tie. Rebound Atlanta. Young's got four rebounds in this game. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Last season, there were more rumors that the Grizzlies' ownership were exploring relocation. Now the lease at FedEx Forum runs through 2027, with substantial penalties for breaking it early. But playing in a small market with the financial challenges the league has seen of late, that wouldn't necessarily preclude a move someday down the road. Guys? Hopefully they can stay put. Thanks, D.A. Brooks misses. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Out to Gallinari. There's a screen. He takes it in. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And going back... To when he turned pro at just 16 years of age. Gallinari has proven to be one of the best players ever from Italy. And you think about his final year in Milano and just how highly efficient he was, first in the league's ratings overall. Six pick going from Italy to New York City, and the fans had no idea what they were getting, but Gallinari eventually dealt in the Carmelo deal, and his career, although it's been multiple stops, has been pretty exemplary. That free throw good from Gallinari. 
You know, the Gallinari nickname, Gallo, did you know that's Italian for rooster? Look it up. It's, it's fact. And the Hawks making a change here. Solomon Hill, he's checked in for Bruno Fernando. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for DeAndre Hunter. Kevin Herter, he's checked in for Reddish. And Goodwin subbed in for Young. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. The Grizzlies trail by four. Jones finds Jang. Memphis moving it around. Six on the shot clock. Hill pulls it in. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. A three from Bogdanovich. It's rebounded by Memphis. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Melton. On the wing, Jones. He's covered by Bogdanovich. On deep. The Grizzlies keeping it alive with a new 14. Count it, and the Atlanta lead has been cut down to two on the bucket from Zhang. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Just work and work on the boards, generate second chance opportunities, and hopefully convert. Back to Gallinari. Kicks it to Goodwin. Golinari with a screen for Goodwin. That one's not going to go. Memphis has gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Here's Jones, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Hawks. What a tremendous showing from the three-pointer all through this game. And also, they've been very committed to just Shoot this hard-charging, attacking style of offense. A lot of points tonight coming off of penetrating the gaps on defense. That free throw, no good. John Collins, he's checked in for Atlanta. He hits the second from the line. Here's Goodwin. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The pass to Herter. Outside, Bogdanovich. Good on the three-point shot. you got to keep the ball moving, and that time Herter's pass leads to an open look. And here's Melton. He'll bring it up for the Grizzlies. Trailing by four. Hawks shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. Outside Bogdanovich. Outside Hill. Passes it to Goodwin. Shot clock at six. Now Bogdanovich. The tray. And that one is off. Pass to Melton. And DeAnthony Melton picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Goodwin with it. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to go on Tyus Jones. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The Hawks have shot the ball pretty well from the line, going 8 of 11. Two, two. The first one falls. 
and done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. And Memphis making a change here. Anderson's checked in. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Yeah, and good job bringing that free throw percentage up here in the second half, doing a great job at the line. Jones, the pass to Jang. That shot misses. Collins with some nice D. The Hawks leading by six. Now Goodwin. Left side, Collins. A three. And it's Goodwin missing. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard says. Hey, yo, what is? With the drive. Puts it up from 12. They get it back. Jang. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Jang's got six points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Goodwin sets a screen for Bogdanovich. The Hawks again can't hit. The Grizzlies trail by four. Here's Melton. From down in the low post, it goes. He's got seven. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Atlanta's shooting pretty terrible here in the third quarter at around 30%. Here's Goodwin. And it's good, two points. And the Hawks lead by four. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Here's Melton. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. That one on Collins. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. This is his second trip to the line in this one. 77% shooter at the line a season ago. Those are better than average numbers. Shooting two. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. The Hawks leading. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. That's a good one. Outside Bogdanovich. There's a screen by Collins. Looking to end his cold spell. And Bogdanovich throws it down. And Bogdanovich doing a great job of separating from the screen. Here's Melton. And we've watched three so far in this one. Hawks lead by four. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, a great job with the eyes. And what separates great playmakers, as we know, is peripheral vision. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. And here's Moran. He'll bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. On the court for Atlanta. Backcourt guards are Young and Reddish. 
Solomon Hill is out there with Hunter. And it's Collins in at the center, filling out the middle. Alan Judas with a screen on Young. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. That's his third foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And here is Hunter. Hill kicks to Hunter. Collins a screen on Brooks. Drives to the hoop. And there's Collins on the assist by Hunter. Collins has got the lead up to six now for the Hawks. Agility coming into play there as Collins moves so well and so quickly in those pick and roll sets. Now here's Anderson. Just five on the clock. The shot, no good. Collins with some nice D. The Hawks leading by six. Lobbed up there for Collins. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Well, that connection with Collins, that's a, an impressive play and very, very high percentage. Here's Melton. Here's the three. Hunter grabs the miss. Hunter's got four rebounds now tonight. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Cowens finds Young. Hunter, no one around him. That's in coming off the assist from Young. And the Hawks lead by 11. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. It's stolen by Reddish. Morant against Young. Banked in off the glass. Young's got 34 points. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Jason Allen's checked in for DeAnthony Melt. Alanari, he's checked in for Atlanta. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, Coach Taylor Jenkins talked to his team during the break. He said, do you want this game? Don't tell me about it. Show me and show your teammates. We've got to play better, and we've got to play harder if we're going to come back. Nice. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. What's up? The free throw drops for Valanciunas. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. To the paint. Shot by Collins, no good. 
will have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space, just clanked it. It's Allen on the wing. Anderson outside. And Kyle Anderson gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. The Hawks leading by 10. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Cowan setting the big for Hunter. Outside Cowan. He kicks to Young. Colinari wide open. And it's off from three-point range. And so Morant will bring it up for Memphis. And there's the pass to Anderson. Back to Morant. Let's it go from deep. Good on the triple. Morant's got it back down to within single digits for Memphis. Anderson has great vision as a point forward. Exceptional court awareness. And here's Gallinari outside. Rebounded by Valen Junis. Well, if he wants to make the defense work, he's got to start knocking down the trees. Only one so far in this game for him, and none since halftime. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Over Hunter. No good from Valanciunas. The Hawks leading by seven. Reddish with the ball. Gallinari outside. To the inside. It's stolen by Valanciunas. Morant against Young. Morant passes to Valanciunas. Here's Anderson. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Well, Anderson finishing through contact. I like to see him make the mid-air adjustment to get that ball off. Young against Morant. Cowan setting the big for Gallinari. And there's another turnover by Atlanta. And here are the Grizzlies. They've got an 8-0 run. Morant kicks to Valanciunas. On the wing, Brooks. Morant outside. Here's Valanciunas. He's off on that one. Collins with some nice D. Atlanta leading by five. Young dishes to Gallinari. Going inside. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Morant with it. Guarded by Hunter. And stolen by Hunter. Young passes to Gallinari. Now Collins. Pass to Hunter. Six to shoot. So here's Gallinari. Fires for three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Allen's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Kicks to Morant. Allen outside. Here's Valanciunas. Count it. Valanciunas has got five points in the quarter. And he's pretty relentless inside. Valanciunas gets after it down low. It might not always look pretty, but he makes the most of his chances in the paint.
he does not look happy. Their defensive rebounding has, has been putrid, and they're giving up a ton of second chance points. Finish the pass to going up. Just not sure if he ran out of energy at halftime or what, but uh, so far just not himself in the second half. Allen drives in. A second chance effort. Gallinari with the rebound. Gallinari's got four rebounds in this game. And Young kicks to Gallinari. And Kyle Anderson gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Pass to Reddish. Young against Morant. Six on the shot clock. And Young kicks to Reddish. Collins trying to break free. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. The scoring breakdown for Memphis. And I like how they've taken the high percentage shot in the paint. In that first half, we saw them doing it, and they've continued to succeed as the game has worn on. Now, the team has also done a really good job of grinding it out on the offensive glass. Those second chance points have added up for them over the course of the game. And that one falls for Collins. John Collins and his versatility are very, very exciting. Not just as a scorer and a rebounder, but defensively as a shot blocker and a versatile switchable defender. Both shots good from the strike. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. Memphis with the ball. They're on a 10-2 run here. Morant outside. Pass to Valanchunas. And the rejection by Collins. Young against Morant. And Young, here we go. And he comes up with the deuce. Young's got four this quarter. Trey Young looking like one of those young players who on a nightly basis gives you something you haven't seen before. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Valanciunas and the rejection by Collins. Reddish the pass to going up. Good. Nice job down low. And it's a nine point Atlanta lead. What focus from the big Italian forward out there. Gallinari is used to having to overcome a lot of physical defense. And the pass to Anderson. Now here's Morant for three. That shot off. So the Hawks will take it the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Young drives in. Alan Junis grabs the board. Alan Junis has got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. Allen outside. Screen by Valen Junis. Allen passes to Valen Junis. Over Gallinari. It's good. And the Hawks lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Valen Junis. Now he's not the reason that they're trailing in this one. He's been on his game. It's a few of the other guys that need to pick it up. Anderson against Gallinari. Outside Cowan. Lock at six. Now here's Reddish. Defended by Anderson. And even though he lacks the size of some of the other bigs, that extra effort has allowed him to do some serious work here on the board. Morant outside. And that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. Oh. 
On defense, the Hawks. They lead by seven. Allen, that's good. Yeah, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Young against Valanciunas. Young dishes to Reddish. Over Allen. Gets the front of the rim and out. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. He kicks it to Anderson. It's Allen on the wing. Dolan are recovering. Four on the shot clock. Tries again. He blocks it again. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. A minute 42 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Young. And the rejection by Valanciunas. Passes it to Anderson. Morant against Young. Alan Judas with a screen on Young. Morant drives in. Good work there as it goes. Morant's got 22 points. Hard trying to contain Morant. When he makes up his mind he's going to score, he goes full force. Young with the ball. He's picked up by Morant. Young trying to break free. And Reddish, the bucket on the assist by Young. In perimeter scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. Maybe trying to find a little bit more space and ball movement to get guys open at the three-point line. That's good, and the Atlanta lead is cut down to three points on the bucket from Brooks. <laughs> and the crowd is loving this long-range bomb attack that we're seeing here tonight. Coming right back to answer a three with one of their own. Young drives in. A shot. No good. Morant with some nice D. Allen finds Morant. There's the drive. Kicks it out to Allen. Anderson with the screen for Allen. From deep, Brooks. Hunter grabs the miss. And an intentional foul right there. Twenty six seconds left in the fourth and so they foul intentionally. He doesn't hit the first and that was the one they really want. He's Got one more, though. And he does get the second one. And that gives them a four-point cushion. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They're behind by four. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth.
And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Trey Young. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Allen passes to Anderson. Young against Morant. Over in the corner, Allen. Count it! And that shot brings them to within just one. That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. Had to foul, and on that occasion, to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. And so both free throws are good, and it's a three-point game. Well, important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now. Fifteen seconds left to play in the final quarter. Allen for three. Can't get the three to fall. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Morant. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. is good and that gives them a four point cushion. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. And it's Brooks in the corner. Fires from deep. The shot comes out. And so it's the Hawks who come out on top. A truly gutsy performance away from home. You know, it, it really was. And Kevin, when this one was hanging in the balance late, they showed just what a tough-minded group they can be. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Trey, you guys had a look in your eyes tonight, so how satisfying was this win? I mean, it feels great. It feels great getting a win. Um, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm just here to help my team win, whoever we're playing against, and um, that, that's all I care about. 
Well, you all certainly did what you had to to get this win, man. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you later. Thank <laughs> you.